The Transformers Studio Series line, as many of you know, it's one of my favorite Transformers line. I don't necessarily like every single character or every single figure in the line, but the line as a whole, I think, is a great line to just showcase all the characters we've seen from the live action uh, films and movies. And and it, it puts them all in scale, supposedly, or arguably most of them are in scale with proper articulation, great details, sort of like a premium feel to the movie verse Transformers. And as such, as the year comes to a close, we still seem to be missing a bunch of characters that are integral or the crux of the Transformers movie verse. And as such, I'd like to discuss some of the Transformers that I feel that Hasbro and Takara Tomi should still do in the coming year. Right now, the studio series will be focusing on the cartoon movie, the animated movie back in 1986, which is all well and good, but I don't think they should forget major characters that have still yet to get the studio series treatment. So let's get it started. Let's start with the Transformers the movie, the very first one that was made. And we've gotten a lot of the major characters, in fact, Actually, we have all, most if not all of the major characters from this movie. However, there are a few minor characters that I felt should be given the studio series treat. Starting with this guy, the Mountain Dew Decepticon vending machine or dispensor. Dispenser, dispensor. I don't exactly know, but I think the official name is Dispensor. I think this one deserves a studio series treat. And, and I'm hoping... If they do a truck, it's fine, but I'm hoping they kind of do a vending machine version, and I, I think that would be great. I mean, just for the fans. It doesn't have to be like super big. It could be part of another set or another figure or anything like that. If they do, do a truck, uh, you know, I'd be fine with it. Next up is Stockade. It, technically, we didn't really see him in the movie, but... He did transform. He was about to transform, I suppose. At least the steering wheel did transform. And I think we deserve another update on this one. If they don't do it, I'm going to be okay with it. But if they do, oh my god, this would be an amazing, amazing figure. And then Frenzy. Uh, I don't know why they did not include this with Barricade. Uh, we should have gotten a Frenzy that sort of, like a one-step Frenzy that transformed into a... Uh, that disc player or that uh, music box some form of frenzy they can make it a little bit oversized but i felt that frenzy was one of the major characters that deserves a studio series treatment i mean he's like a, such a cool cool character and maybe they they could do another sound wave figure repack it with a uh, ravage or frenzy i don't know but I honestly think we deserve more than these than, than these figures that we've already gotten from the movie line. And I think a studio series treatment would really, really be an, uh, an interesting take on this character. Let's move on to the second movie, the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. And some of you may know, I don't know why, but the Revenge of the Fallen has always had a special place in my heart. It's my favorite movie verse movie. It, it, the Transformers movie verse film and I don't know why I know a lot of people hate this movie but this has always been my favorite movie uh, out of all the five that has been released I mean even Bumblebee I like Bumblebee movie but this one somehow is is just close to my heart and I do wish we could see a few more characters in this line starting with this guy Demolisher or Demolisher this is arguably uh, you know, it's going to be inevitable. I think Hasbro has a penchant for repainting their figures. I'm pretty sure we're going to see Scavenger repainted as a Demolisher. It's just a matter of time, but this would be great. I hope they don't mess it up. I hope they give us the proper paint apps design and deco for this figure that really deserves a Studio Series treatment. Next up is Sideways. One of my favorite characters, actually favorite toys and figures from the line was Sideways, uh, the Audi uh, sports car, the Audi R R8 uh, Decepticon. And this would be a really nice studio series figure. I honestly believe they should do this. Even if he just died after a few minutes, He's got in an older version and this one severely, severely needs an update, preferably with better feet. Maybe better paint details. And I'm hoping Takara Tomi would do this. Next up, to be honest, I honestly don't want to see a studio series version of these guys. But given that we already have Devastator and they are part of the main cast, you know, Hasbro could do a two-pack 
uh, of these guys like uh probably going to be an exclusive and the twins skids and mud flap would be a nice addition if you're really completing the revenge of the fallen line and I'm hoping we could get better detail. And even if they don't do the ice cream truck, I mean, if, if they do this as well, they could probably have like a four pack, have them in the in the Chevy cars and then the ice cream truck in, in a smaller condensed version because they have to be in scale. That would be great. Honestly, I'd, I'd pick it up, definitely. But not too excited about these guys simply because they're the most unpopular characters from the movie, but it will be great if we do get them. And then this guy, Jolt, who just appears in the last few minutes, last 10 minutes of the movie, I believe, just to power up Optimus Prime. We never see him in the entirety of the movie except in that last bit. It was a late addition, I think. But I thought the concept of this character was amazing. I mean, if we could get an, a really proper Jolt uh, to just, you know, combine Jetfire with Optimus Prime, like, pssst, you know, it'd be, it'd be really awesome. I mean, we've gotten one from Dark of the Moon and from Revenge of the Fallen, but yeah, they, I, uh, they need work. And if maybe given a studio series treatment, despite being a minor character, I think it would be great. The Doctor, or Scalpel. I don't, honestly, honestly, I don't know how they're going to do this. This guy is um, diminutive and, you know, pardon the pun, microscopic. I think would be the, the right de description if we get a studio series treatment because we've gotten Brains and we've gotten Wheelie as part of Shockwave and he's smaller than those guys and he would be really, really small. I don't see Hasbro or Takara Tomi actually doing this figure, to be quite honest. I think it's, a, it's not in their best interest to do it. Maybe they can add it as part of a set just like Brains or Wheelie. But I'm still hoping we kind of get him. Maybe like, you know, an actual transforming doctor. Maybe in like a, a pack together with maybe some of the appliances that transform in in Sam's kitchen. Because the, the last one we got was really a terrible figure. Aesthetically, it was great. But quality-wise, it, it, it was just terrible. And I know we're getting one from... Um, Mechanic Studios or Studio Mechanic or whatever that company is, but it kind of looks too cartoony and more of like a Generations figure than a Studio Series figure. So still hoping Hasbro does this. Or, you know, if they do that, they could pack in with this guy, the Reed Man. This was an interesting character. I honestly thought, you know, this, this would be a great toy. Unfortunately, we've never gotten one. I, I can understand why it's going to be very difficult. You're going to do a paper-thin transforming robot. I don't see Hasbro doing this, but it would be nice if they could do this together with Scalpel as like a pack, like a multi-pack. And like I said, you know, if they do it, you could have these interesting characters that were really part of the movie. It doesn't have to be paper-thin. It could be just really thin. And then uh, the kitchen appliances and like i said these small uh transformers for the studio series they could have them packed in one pack i mean if they could do baby yoda or the child from the mandalorian in that teeny teeny tiny figure they could probably do like a multi-pack of these guys i thought these were cool the uh transforming decepticon appliances that were hit by the shard i, I thought they were amazing they were kind of cute uh but they're probably much too small and as such a nice multi-pack would be nice. Okay, Ejector. Ravage, I'm, no, this, I don't think I have to say this because we are probably getting Ravage together with Grindor. I'm not even gonna say Grindor because it's already been announced, I believe. But again, the, the Ravage we're probably gonna get from Grindor is gonna be smaller than Scorponok and it wouldn't do justice to the character and as such you know a multi-pack of all those small transformers would be nice and then finally the fallen i mean come on the major bad guy should get a um a treatment from the studio series i my good buddy christian actually reminded me of this he wanted a studio series version of the fallen and personally i think he's right uh even if he doesn't transform actually if you just gave him a bunch of weapons and he just a fully articulated well detailed the fallen that would be great but yes a transforming fallen would be nice even if he transformed into like a tomb like you know the primes they transform into a tomb or something like that i i would be more than happy uh if we got him just give us the great detail paint app sculpt the studio series line it would be amazing and rounding up the 
Revenge of the Fallen line, Alice. Now, I honestly think they won't do this. No, it's not in the best interest for Hasbro or Takaratomi to do this. But it would be great. I would love to see an Alice Pretender Decepticon done in the Studio Series line. I mean, I mean, come on. Who would not want this kind of Transformer, right? But it would be very, very difficult given that the human-sized Transformer, it would be too small and it, would do, it wouldn't do any justice to this character. So... I'm kind of giving up a hope on this. I don't think we'll see this, but it would be nice if somehow Hasbro could finally somehow squeeze this thing in like a, a two inch sized figure or I mean that had like some detail. I mean, she could be like half human. They could mold it half human and half robot. That would be great. I'd be so happy with that. And I don't know, I'm kind of giving, giving up hope on this, but uh, if they do a multi-pack, I think they should include her. I mean, come on, right? Half human and half of this robot with some accessories. Great paint apps. That would be amazing. Okay, moving on to Dark of the Moon. Dark of the Moon is almost done. It's wrapping up. We have a lot of characters already in the line. But there are still a few key characters that I think Hasbro and Takaratomi should still do. Hugh or Wheeljack. He's, I think he's a major character. He's a secondary character, but I think it would be nice if we got him because not a lot of collectors were able to track down the canceled release or Takaratomi version of this. This thing is going for bonkers online. So if you gave us a studio series treatment with great fantastic detail, like Leadfoot, okay? If they do treatment of this guy like Leadfoot, but not 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 top spin, please. But if they can do a, a better version of this guy with better details and some accessories, I'd be totally down with it. Next is Mirage. I mean, come on. We have got to see a, a proper Dark of the Moon Mirage that actually transforms into a Ferrari. I mean, there I know there there's legal issues with Mattel, but Mattel has lost rights to Ferrari for for a time now. And you know, they don't hold all the cards with Ferrari, I think. And Hasbro should, I think, you know, try and negotiate if they can do a Ferrari car. I think we all deserve a proper Mirage. I mean, if they could do like a car mode that's just like sort of looks like a Ferrari and no logos, no no emblems or anything like that, I'd be totally okay with it. They could do an alt mode that, that's very similar to a Ferrari, but just get rid of the logos and, you know, they, they could probably legally do it if they still have uh, an issue with Mattel. Next up is the third member of the Dreads, which is Hatchet. I don't know why we still haven't gotten this guy. I mean, we've gotten him in the toy line as a Legends, no, no, Le yeah, Legends or Scout class that transformed into a jet. I mean, he was a car in the movie, I believe. So if we could get like a, like a Cerberus type of Decepticon to transform into a car. Oh man, I'd be totally, totally down with that because you could complete the trio and if they, they'd use the same alt mode, I'd be totally fine with it. Just change the way the transformation and the skull. This this is something we really need, I, I believe, for Dark of the Moon. The original one we had was okay, but it just didn't fit in with the other two dreads. So definitely need a hatchet. Now moving on to the Age of Extinction. I think this is the line that we haven't gotten any of the characters, any of the major characters. Uh, well, we've gotten a few characters, I think, and but a lot of the major characters are still absent uh, from this line. I mean, we got Drift, sure, but we need the major characters or the major Transformers uh, in this movie. And starting off with Hound. I mean, it's this is, I think, inevitable. It's only a matter of time before Hasbro decides to do uh, an Age of Extinction Hound. We, we definitely need him. Um, I think he's a fun character. I You know, he was annoying at times, but I, I, I honestly like this character and I think he deserves a studio, treat, studio series treatment. And we can start off with this old alt mode and then when... When last night comes, you can give him another version. But this would be epic. If they turned him into something like a leader class uh, character, I, I would be totally down with this. And then Crosshairs. Now, come on. This guy was such a dynamic character. I honestly think we need to get a studio series treatment for this character. I mean, done in the Corvette and giving him proper guns. And 
somehow fix the transformation with the trench coat and all that to form the panels of the car, this would be an amazing studio series figure. And then the Dinobots. Uh, we've already gotten Grimlock, I know that, but we do need the others just to complete the team. We need Slug, Scorn, and Strafe. They don't have to do Sludge, to be honest, um, or, 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 or Snarl. Uh, but we do need the three others, and that would be really nice. They could be done in like deluxe class or Voyager class. Um, I I'd be totally okay with it. If done in the proper colors, this would be amazing. And then Galvatron. Oh, we need a proper movie Galvatron figure. A Gal a Galvatron done in that truck, and with the proper details. This is, I think, achievable if we do it through the Studio Series line. If you remember my reviews, they did a bunch of five steps and one steps and the, the actual Voyager class Galvatron. It did not ju do justice to the actual character. So I'm kind of hoping we'd still do we get this one in the Studio Series line. Some other characters, like minor characters that, you know, if they do this, it'd be great. If they don't, then I'd be totally fine with it. But, you know, just to complete uh, the cast, uh, Age of Extinction, I think we need an onslaught. Uh, you could do him in this truck and you know maybe that'd be great uh, if they don't do it I'll still be okay with it but it would be amazing if they repainted like say long haul and just give him some panels from I don't know from Dark of the Moon Megatron <laughs> that would be great and the same goes with the other crew members of the crew we got Mohawk and the rest of the guys, like Berserker, we've gotten Zeus, Nitro, so I'm okay with it. Uh, Dreadbot. I mean, if they do all of these guys, maybe as like a gift set, a pack, I think that's probably the best way they can do this. This one was... I was on the fence with this. I thought it was a great Transformer. I mean, we, we saw him for a few seconds. Very minor, but I thought the design was interesting. He was like this uh, garbage truck in, in China, in junk heap. He's called Junk Heap, I suppose. I thought it was Rekgar, but it would be nice if we did get an actual Studio Series treatment. It's a minor character. I doubt Hasbro will even think of doing this, but, you know, I'm still hoping they do it. I mean, the old toy, limited as it was, I thought it was a, it was a good toy. Some great details about it, but uh, yeah, it, it, it was a very basic toy with some gimm a gimmicky toy. And finally, the last, not finally, but penultimate to this video is the, the last night. Uh, and the last night, oh man, we really, really need some Transformers done in the Studio Series line. Again, as like I mentioned, Hound. If they do the Age of Extinction Hound, they gotta do the last night Hound. And I think if they have to choose between these two, I think they should go for the Age of, for the last night Hound. The Age of Extinction Hound was great and all that, but... Between the two, I'm partial to the Last Night Hound, and if they're limited on budget and time constraints and whatever, I think they should do this one first. And then Crosshairs. Same with Crosshairs. If they can do a version uh, from the Last Night, because it's basically near identical to the Age of Extinction version, they could just choose. I think Crosshairs done in this version would be really, really nice. And then Hot Rod. Hot Rod. I mean, we've got him as World War II, but we gotta get him in his Lamborghini uh, version. Oh, come on, Hasbro. I wish they would do this. And then the Dragon Storm. This actually, I don't know how they're going to do it. Um, if they don't do Dragon Storm, I'd, I'd be okay with it. Uh, but if they do, even if it doesn't split into 12 different nights, if he just transform into like one night, I'd still be okay with it. Instead of the one splitting up into two nights, uh, that was too gimmicky for me. Uh, it, it's okay, but maybe just one guy transforming to the Dragon Storm, I think would be great. Um, it would be a nod to what they did with Transformers Prime, Beast Hunters uh, with Predacon. Something like that. That would be really, really amazing if they did this in the Studio Series line. I mean, just one night, like him, transforming into Dragon Storm. And then Megatron. Oh, come on, Hasbro. This is a no-brainer. You have got to give us a more updated uh, Last Night Megatron. I think this would be an amazing character. I think this would be a really, really amazing figure for the Studio Series line. The old one was... Uh, this was severely lacking, in my opinion. It was a very frustrating toy, and... We need a leader class, at least like a Voyager-sized leader class 
for the studio series line. And then Optimus Prime, of course. They don't have to do an Age of Extinction version, if you ask me. I think they just go skip to the Last Night version. Um, or maybe they can do an Age of Extinction in the Last Night version would be like a Battle Damage or an Nemesis Prime version. But we honestly need to do this. Uh, I mean, collectors have gone to the third party companies just to get a proper age of extinction and and the last night version of optimus prime and i think hasbro it's in your best interest to give us a studio series uh figure of this one nemesis like i said nemesis prime could be the age of that would be the last night version and then the age of extinction could be the regular optimus prime i mean we got we gotta get this in the studio series line some minor characters that i thought could use a studio series treatment is bulldog uh, we saw him for a few seconds but the details of this figure are just really amazing and i thought a studio series treatment would really do justice to this character but they don't have to do it now day trader was interesting uh he's a kooky character they should i i thought you know this was going to be a wreck gar but they don't have to do it but if they do i think it would be a great figure i honestly do think so it's going to be a very simplistic transformation, probably like a shell former or a parts forming transformer. I don't know, but with the amount of details this figure has, oh my goodness, this would be a, a great Studio Series toy, Studio Series figure. I mean, look at this guy, right? Right? I mean, come on. You're going to turn into Mercedes truck? This would be great. Like this one. Oh man, I'd keep him in his alt mode all day. If, if they actually do it. Squeaks? No. This is one character that I wish they would not do for the Studio Series. And like I said, he's as small as Brains. Maybe, no, a little bigger than Brains, definitely. But he's going to be too small for any Deluxe class or Voyager class. Maybe he's going to be part of a set. Maybe with Bumblebee. Maybe that's it. That's probably what they do. But this is the one I'm least excited about if they actually decide to do it. now finally bumblebee the bumblebee movie deserves uh more studio series in my opinion i think this is probably my second favorite out of all the five movies and we've already gotten some figures like bumblebee and the, the three decepticons and cliff jumper and i think we could do more let's start with brawn i think brawn is really an interesting character it's one of my favorites from g1 and if they do something like a cliff jumper cybertronian brawn i think that would be really nice i mean look at him he's got a lot of firepower he's very beefy they could do a totally different mold i'd be totally down with this one i'm you know very exciting if they actually decide to do this guy wheeljack again uh, i'm indifferent if they do a version of him he's one of my favorite g1 characters if they do decide to do a bumblebee movie version of him ah that would be amazing like he's cybertronian alt mode would be like a space van or something like that that would be really really nice shockwave is also interesting i mean he's great uh, together with the Seekers, you get to see, you could remold uh, Blitzwing into the Seekers, maybe. But I don't think it's as exciting as if we do get Soundwave. I think if they should start with anything uh, from this Bumblebee movie for the Studio Series, they should do a Soundwave character. I mean, he could transform into a 4x4, a Cybertronian 4x4, much like we've seen in the video game. Or, I mean, he doesn't have to transform into that uh, tower or whatever. And he would come with Ravage. Oh my goodness, that would be an amazing, amazing set. Amazing figure. They could do like a leader class version. There's a Voyager class sized character, but in leader class packaging. So they could include Ravage. A transforming Ravage in Cybertronian Ravage with Soundwave would be an epic, epic set. And that's probably something I I wish Hasbro would, would do. Out of all the Transformers that I mentioned, characters I mentioned that Hasbro should do, it's this Cybertronian Soundwave and Ravage from the Bumblebee movie, which I believe, you know, if I could just beg for Hasbro and Takara Tomi to do, I, I would. This would be something they should look into, they should consider looking into um, doing first. I mean, Optimus Prime and Galvatron and Megatron, the last nine Age of Extinction, sure. But they should definitely look into this.
So those are my thoughts uh, about what Hasbro and Takara Tomi should be thinking of doing in the coming year or two. Are any of the ones I suggested pretty good? You think you agree with me or you totally disagree with me? <laughs> what They should be focusing just on the cartoon and quit the movie line? Let me know in the comment section. And as always, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. If it's your first time here, please subscribe. And if you want to help me do more videos, support the channel, please check out my Patreon account. Your contribution will go a long way in helping me keep this channel alive and do more video reviews. Also, in the coming months, I will be posting some Patreon exclusive content from Chefatron. Do stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching.